Hey guys, it's Marissa and today's video is going to be college life hacks because I know that you guys love my kind of college advice -y type videos and I feel like these videos are super important even if you're still in high school just to like help prepare. I mean, school can be like stressful enough as it is. So hopefully these tips will help you guys out and make it just a little bit easier. So my first tip and something that I've actually done several times for studying for tests is to actually record myself saying the answers to the test or like the notes, um, the review, and listening to it like a week before the test, just a lot. This one might seem weird, but I feel like if you listen to it enough times, then it works. And one good thing that I like about this tip, rather than just having to sit down and read the textbook, is I feel like you can kind of listen to the notes for the test while you're multitasking, while you're getting ready for the day, or like even while you're like on your way to school and not have to be staring at a textbook. So I feel like I can study more that way. Or even just listen to it like when I'm sitting in bed at night about to drift off to sleep. I feel like it's almost like listening to an audiobook. And I actually invented this hack like a couple years ago when I was um, sitting in the cafeteria or the quad or like wherever I would sit and I would try and study and I would just get really distracted. I would find the environment just too loud and noisy and distracting. So I started actually recording myself saying like the notes to the test and I just found it so much easier to like pay attention when I'm just like have my headphones in and I can hear myself. I can he literally hear myself talk. So you could either do it like on your phone or um, some sort of recording device. So my next tip is to buy food or snacks in bulk instead of buying them from either the vending machines or the cafeteria. Unless of course you have like a meal plan that's already paid for in school, in which case just make sure you're using it up. But I feel like cafeteria food and like food in the student store, it can just be so expensive and it can add up really quickly. So I feel like having snacks on hand is just great. It also saves you time too, because you don't have to like go wait in a long line. If you're hungry, you can just throw it in your bag and go. Another good tip is to actually get your snacks delivered um, through auto pay, through um, Amazon subscribe and save. And this is great because you're gonna save some money by like getting it on repeat, but also you're never gonna forget to buy it. So once you kind of run out, you'll just get more in the mail. So that's good. And um, I feel like the Amazon student um, Prime discount is only like $50 a year. So it's good if you don't have a car, but you're gonna need to buy a lot of stuff. So I feel like that's like a good, a good thing. Shipping in two days, so you don't have to like constantly keep running to the store. So I feel like as a college student, there's so much to keep track of, and there's so many things to remember, and like you've got projects do tests and homework it's just a lot there's just so much to keep track of and i personally am terrible at remembering things which is why i love using dashlane which is a free to use password manager and so it securely stores all of your passwords so you don't need to remember them which makes it great for people like me who are constantly i mean constantly having to reset your passwords and like answer the security question that happens to me probably like four times a week <laughs> it's just a huge like hassle and time waster having to remember all of those passwords like i feel like i couldn't even remember my locker combination in school let alone like 50 different passwords online. So it's great because it lets you create a more secure, um, strong password this way. And they really just make everything kind of like a one click experience, which is super nice. So using the password manager is totally free, but if you guys want to take it one step further, then they also actually have Dashlane Premium, where you can access Dashlane's VPN to keep your internet private and out of the hands of like, scammers and hackers and they also have a uh, dark web monitoring as well so i am going to link dash lane up below for you guys where you guys can download it and use it for free 
And I would just highly recommend anyone who ever has to type in a password online to download it, which is everyone when you think about it, like your email, your social media, if you have any of that stuff, if you ever need to type in a password, you should probably download this. And you're also gonna get a 30 day free trial of Dashlane Premium. And after the 30 days, if you decide you wanna keep it, then you're gonna get 10% off if you use the code MarissaRachel. So definitely go check it out. Thank you so much to Dashlane for sponsoring this video. I've had a lot of problems in the past with hacking, so this service is just super handy and super convenient. And also by downloading Dashlane and using my link, you guys are helping support my channel. So thank you guys. I also like to make my phone screensaver, my class schedule for like the first week or two, just so that I have my class schedule like easily accessible and I'm not digging through my bag looking for a little piece of paper and sometimes you lose the paper and then you gotta go to the office and get a new one. I feel like I just always forget where my next class is. I'm really bad with like locations of buildings and stuff so I feel like this is just a must for me. So this one is great if you live in a dorm or even if you don't live in a dorm and you just have a limited amount of space or a really small room. I mean, I know dorms are known for like being super small and it is to use the Marie Kondo folding method. And this one is just brilliant because it does save a lot of room, but also you can just find things so much easier. So, you know, if you're late for school in the morning, you don't have to rustle through like 200 different shirts to find the one that you want. You can just open your drawer, easily spot the one that you want. And it's great because yeah, you can see all of your shirts when you open your drawer you don't have to like be pulling things out. Also when you live on a campus or in a dorm, you have very little space. So you're probably not gonna have room to buy an iron and an ironing board. So something that I always like to do is to take something that's wrinkly, either a shirt or whatever, and to stick it in the shower after you've done taking a hot shower and the steam from the shower, just leave it in there for like a couple hours. The steam really like gets all the wrinkles out. It looks like it's been freshly pressed. So yeah, you can just de-wrinkle and straighten that shirt in no time. You should definitely consider ride sharing too, just because cars are so expensive. There's so many costs associated with them. And also I know that college students in particular, I feel like get the highest insurance rates out of anyone. And this one is obviously gonna depend on like several things, how far you live from campus, etc. But it's definitely something to think about, especially if you take Lyft line and do share Shared rides, I feel like you can end up just spending so like little on transportation, which is good. Just make sure if you do do lift line or do ride sharing that you leave really early, that you leave in advance so that you have enough time to get to, you know, your class or whatever you're trying to get to. And I feel like Lyft is definitely like my favorite app for ride sharing. So align yourself with the smart kids or the studious kids, or, you know, usually the people that sit in the front are more studious. And I feel like this one might seem like easy or basic hack, but I feel like it's a lifesaver. And I feel like the people that show up to class every day and take really good notes are gonna be the people that you're gonna want to, you know, ask for help with on the homework or exchange notes for, or, you know, if you miss a class, then they can give you their notes. And I feel like it's just like the best situation. Um, also sometimes like you don't want to ask the professor or you can't because it's like a class of 200 kids. So if they're like a good student, they might know the answer. Last but definitely not least, and I know I have mentioned this a million times before, and it is to take advantage of student discounts. The other day I actually saved $8 at a museum just by having my student ID and being a student. So I feel like, yeah, just make sure you have a student ID because I feel like most places ask you for it and you'll be good. And I feel like look up, definitely Google like what freebies are around you, what places do student discounts because I feel like Sometimes student discounts are like really good. So those were some college life hacks you guys need to know. And I hope you guys learned something from this video. And don't forget, I will link Dashlane below if you guys want to try out the password manager. It's free to download, but you're also gonna get 30 days of Dashlane Premium to try out. 
and I love you guys. Mwah. Big kiss and bye bye.